Engineers trying to keep the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control have hit another snag. They've discovered more than half the thermometers in one of the reactors are not working. An official with Tokyo Electric Power Company says the thermometers are vital for judging whether the reactor is still in a state of cold shutdown. We plan to install new thermometers from the outside so we can monitor the temperature in the pressure vessel. Engineers say they'll install new thermometers by late July. They're preparing by decontaminating the area and learning the installation procedure. Workers have entered the basements of two reactor buildings at the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They're trying to find the source of water that's collected there. The crew was sent by Tokyo Electric, the plant's operator. They inspected the rooms housing the suppression chambers of the number two and three reactors for the first time since the nuclear accident last year. The workers were unable to pinpoint the source of the leak. Photos released after the inspection showed no signs of major damage to the facilities or equipment. Tokyo Electric says more than five meters of contaminated water have collected in each unit. That's more than half the height of the donut-shaped suppression chambers, which are about nine meters in diameter. Tokyo Electric will continue to search for the source of the leak. Damage to the reactor's containment vessels and suppression chambers must be repaired before the reactor can be decommissioned. Radioactive water is still leaking from a reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. A new method to find the locations has failed. Identifying the leaks is a key step towards decommissioning the plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, said workers used an infrared camera to search for leaks in the suppression chamber at the number two reactor. It was hoped the infrared images would reveal the locations from the temperature difference between the water and air. Infrared photos showed the temperature was 38 degrees Celsius in the upper part and about 35 degrees in the lower part. But this was not a large enough temperature gap to identify the leaks. The camera was unable to make a more effective reading. TEPCO says it will devise other ways to find the locations. Workers at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi plant seem to come across new problems and new challenges every day at the damaged nuclear facility. Their latest find? Extremely high levels of radiation inside the building that houses Reactor 2. Tokyo Electric Power Company engineers sent a robot into the building Wednesday to take video and measure radiation. TEPCO spokespersons say instruments detected a reading of 880 millisieverts per hour on the fifth floor. The area is 4.5 meters above the reactor containment vessel. TEPCO analysts suspect radioactive substances that leaked from reactor 2 moved through the location. But the images and data taken by the robot haven't helped them find the exact route the contaminants traveled. Spokespersons say the teams have found no major damage on the fifth floor. Experts believe Reactor 2 released the largest amount of radiation during the accident at Fukushima Daiichi, but they haven't determined how it escaped the containment vessel. TEPCO officials need to find and repair the damaged parts of the reactor so they can recover melted nuclear fuel and then start the decommissioning process. But they say high radiation often stops workers from entering the building. They note this means it will take a long time to pinpoint the problems in the containment vessel. A crew has detected record levels of radiation at the heart of Japan's nuclear disaster. They lowered instruments into reactor number one at Fukushima Daiichi. They got readings of radiation that were extremely high. The crew from Tokyo Electric Power Company used an endoscope and dosimeters to check inside the reactor. For the first time since the accident in March last year, they took a reading in the suppression chamber 20 centimeters above the surface of contaminated water. The record level hit 10,300 millisieverts per hour. That much radiation would kill a person within a short time. They took a reading of 1,000 millisieverts per hour 4 meters above the water's surface. That raised concerns about how they will decommission the reactor. A TEPCO spokesperson said they may have found higher readings in reactor number one because more fuel rods may be melting there than in other reactors. People cannot enter the site, so TEPCO will use robots to assess damage and for any demolition.